Hello everyone, I've got a new diorama from Model Art. I believe it's the Tofu Shop. And we're going to do an unboxing and review. Cool thing is, comes almost ready out of the box. You only have to put some batteries inside. Then I'm going to put it next to my other dioramas, create a nice scene. And a new diorama video is born. Okay, let's start with a look at the box. So here we got the box. Uh, the diorama that's inside already showed you that it's in a 164 scale. Here you see the size and the materials. Already did a review about uh, another diorama from the same series. And yes, it comes with a user manual. So you see what to do. You've got the diorama, you take the roof off, put the batteries inside. Okay, you have to uh, put the advertising on the side of the diorama yourself. Put the diorama on the base. And uh, the light works with a touch. So, let's take a look what we got here. Here we got the base. This is one piece, this is the thing you put the tofu shop on and here we've got the base, have to figure out how to place it, but I think it is like, like this and then this one goes over here or here, you decide, well, we will see. Okay. Then to take the house so here it is in plastic very well packed good protection ah, here is the sign um, don't have a knife ah Be careful with this. Yep. Okay, the roof goes off very easily. And uh, there we have the battery compartment. And this is this is made out of wood. I like that, it even smells like wood. Very good quality. Really like the looks of this. I mean, normally uh, stuff like this is made from plastic. Uh-uh, this is made out of wood. Just like the rest of the diorama, we can look inside. We got a chamber over there, some Chinese text. Don't know what it means, maybe it says tofu shop. I don't know, we got some air conditionings. Pretty simplistic. Uh, the light. Okay, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to build the diorama. It is very simple. So to do it like this. And then you've got two holes here and these two things and you put it right there. That is very simple. You can also do it like this. Voila. Put the roof on top. Same thing here. You got four holes. And it fits very well. Now, the only thing I have to do, 
put the batteries inside that is not super exciting so uh, i'm going to do that off camera and i will be back when it's ready and next to my other dioramas small update I have to put this here on the side two holes and it fits very well yes perfect and this is how you put the batteries inside okay now we put the battery compartment back in his box repress on the button and then we see the light is working very easy Boop. Light goes out. Okay, I'm going to take it upstairs next to my other dioramas, create a nice scene. See you there. So here it is in the display cabinet and it looks fantastic. I really like this diorama. But what I like the most about the diorama, and I already said it, that it is made almost completely out of wood. Not plastic, wood, really good quality. Okay, let's see what have we got here. Initial D is in the house and you can put two cars next to it. The figures from Initial D are coming with the Initial D diorama. Already did a review about that on my YouTube channel. Uh, the dog is from Race Metal. I bought it in a Race Metal store on AliExpress. Mailman and the mailbox are from American Diorama. Girl with the red pants, also American Diorama, and the dog is also from Race Metal. This Lamborghini Kuntak is from Tomica. Yes, I'm right. And um, by the way, I'm going to do a review about that one in combination with these two from Kyoso. Mm, by the way, this is also pretty cool. Um, if you have seen the movie Back to the Future, they're going to test the time machine at Twin Pine Mall. So I'm definitely going to make a photo for my Instagram with this piece. By the way, it's a 143 skill, but you can perfectly use it for a 164 car. Um, yeah, BMWs. Did a review about those on my YouTube channel a couple of days ago. Uh, no, sorry for that. Let's see how it looks with the light on. There it goes. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Yeah, that looks very cool like it that the light from this one is a different than that one perfect okay some more light again so what is coming in the future have to do a review about this Cobra Commander and Stinger from Jada, from G.I. Joe. Uh, still have to do a review about this WA-1200 from Kumatsu in combination with this big giant over here. Uh, already did a review about the Mini GT truck. I've ordered a new Godzilla from Prime 1 from the Gigantic series. Did a review about this awesome diecast plane in a 144 skill did a review about this uh, cobra helicopter from forces of feather and also about this chinook from forces of feather still have to do a review about this one over here and i believe this or a similar truck like this is also used in ukraine for the war Still have to do a review about this Apache helicopter and about the 118 skill Messerschmitt beautiful plane. Um, do I have more to show you? Nope, not at this moment.
Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your diecast friends. Any questions, just ask and I will answer your comments. Have a very nice day. Bye.